Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to talk about uh, Intune MAM policy exemptions. So this is a MAM policy which I created for Android unmanaged devices which are not enrolled into Intune. Under managed apps, I have added all the apps uh, here. So Outlook, Office, Teams, OneDrive, all the available apps which are MAM aware and uh, can be managed. I have added them here. Under data protection, I have set send org data to policy managed apps only. So this means that I would be able to copy data from one of the policy managed apps to another, but not to any other app. For example, if I try to copy data to WhatsApp, that will not work. Let me show you a demo of that. So here is one of the policy managed apps, which is uh, Outlook. So I'm going to log into that. I'm going to copy something and uh, try to paste it in WhatsApp. Here I'm on the WhatsApp and if I try to paste it, it's not allowing me to do that. So this is my Outlook uh, managed app and this I have received an email in which it, there is a link which opens a WhatsApp chat. If I click on it, it will try to open in Edge and then redirect to WhatsApp and it fails because WhatsApp is not a managed app. The option here, select apps to exempt. So if I click on it here, I can define the apps which are there in Play Store to which I would allow the data transfer. So when I say data transfer, it does not mean that I would be able to copy paste the data. So just like right now, I tried to copy paste data in WhatsApp. So that will not work even then. But if I get a link in my email and I click on that and that link opens in a certain app, it would allow it. So in this case, it would allow WhatsApp to work. One of the use case for this is, for example, in your email, in your corporate email, you get a link to join a meeting and that meeting opens in Zoom or maybe some other app which is not a managed app or MAM aware app, which you can add as a managed app. So that will not work because your email, which is configured on your mobile in Outlook is a managed app and you click on that link. It tries to open the other app. It doesn't work. So let us make WhatsApp links work in the email from managed app. So for that, I will specify a name here. That could be anything. So I could say was WhatsApp exemption. And I will have to type a value here, which would be bundle ID for that particular app. So in this case, that would be WhatsApp. To get the bundle ID, I would go to Google Play Store, search for WhatsApp, open it in the URL here, whatever is after ID equal and before this uh, and sign, I will copy that. So in this case, it would be com.whatsapp and I would paste it here and click on OK and save it. Now let us go back to the device and test whether it works or not. So MAM policies can take around eight hours to apply. Just to expedite the process, I will log out and log in to Outlook and Edge on my mobile phone and then start the video. I will try to open the link and it should work. It should redirect to WhatsApp as uh, WhatsApp is exempted and this is working. Now let me try copying paste some data to WhatsApp. So from my email, I am copying something and going into WhatsApp in the same chat. And this should not work because the exemption only allows us to click on the links and uh, redirect it to the other non-managed app. But still you cannot copy paste data from a managed app to unmanaged app. So in this video, we saw how to add the uh, exemption for an Android uh, Play Store app so that you can Click on the link from our managed app and redirect to that particular unmanaged app and saw that we still cannot copy paste data. So that is still not allowed. I hope you like this video and please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.